on guys and welcome back to another cartoon news with your host as always KMAC time now today I have some very very interesting news about some of the shows that are very near and dear to my heart as a 90s kid starting us out is the new Pokemon 20th anniversary movie called I choose you now I broke the story a couple weeks ago or maybe a month or two ago uh, it's not news this movie is coming but if you don't know what this movie is it's supposed to be a reimagining, if you will, of the first season of the anime. So the season where, uh, you know, Ash gets Pikachu and him and Gary battle it out. That whole original season with the seeing Ho-Oh in the very first episode with the Spearows and Brock and Misty and all that. My personal favorite season of the anime, just because that's the one I've seen the most. That's the one I grew up on in the mornings. I watch it before I go to school every day. I love that season. I love that. Uh, that just that whole season was great. But anyway, getting back to this. Now, like I said, 20th anniversary of that. They announced this movie a while back and said it's going to be a reimagining of it. Now, first, that might sound great. Cool. They're updating, you know, they're updating it. They're condensing it into a movie. It's going to be a little bit shorter, obviously, a couple hours instead of, you know, hours of episodes. Uh, that's great. Well, now I'm having doubts because they released a trailer today in Japan. And in that, we got to see a little bit more about the story and a little bit more about the characters and lack thereof. Because in this reimagining, Brock and Misty aren't there to go with Ash on his journey. Now, whether or not they're in it or they're as gym leaders and they don't follow him on his journey like they do in the anime, I don't know that. That might happen. They might be in it. They might not be in it completely. But for whatever reason, Brock and Misty are not Ash's companions in this. Um, which obviously changes the whole dynamic of the of this because that was like, you know, they were main characters in every episode, and then you have Nurse Joy being hit on by Brock constantly, and that was a funny part. And then you had Misty being mad at Ash for having a crush on him. That was a big part of it too, and all that is gone. Instead, they're being replaced with these two characters, one named Soji and one named uh, Makoto. Now those are the names they gave for the Japanese version of this whether or not those are be English translation over as well not entirely sure but anyway another thing about this is that those trainers Soji has a Lucario as his partner and Makato has a Piplup so that obviously means that there's not just the original 151 in this like there was in the uh first anime season plus they had Ho if you're gonna count that whatever but anyway I digress uh, so it looks like we're going to be getting at least up to Gen 4 uh, uh, of Pokemon there. Uh, so that's whatever. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of those generations. I'm more of a Gen 1-er myself, personally, because I was there from the beginning. OG. Um, but, I don't know. Anyway, that's all there was for that, guys. Hopefully it comes out better. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. You know, I was super excited when I first heard about this project. You know, it was cool bringing back the originals and all that kind of fun stuff. But... Uh, now they're adding all this stuff and then changing it and reimagining it. What? Whatever. It's still going to be an okay movie, I'm sure. Um, they did give a release date uh, only in Japan. It's being released in July 7th. No information as of yet on a North American release. Obviously, it will make it here sometime probably this year once they get it, um, you know, English uh, voiceover and all that kind of stuff. So probably sometime later this year, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that. But anyway, to... to Get on to today's big story, which comes out of Nickelodeon Studios. It's a massive update on the upcoming Hey Arnold Jungle movie, which you all know I am so stoked on. I've been stoked on this since I, the very first time I heard it was coming. And Nickelodeon's been kind of close to the vest with this. They haven't really released a whole lot of information on it. They released a couple of screenshots here and there. They, they said their release date was sometime in November around Thanksgiving for the kids being on break. So that's all fine and dandy. But this morning, they went ahead and released a brand new trailer. Uh, it's a first look trailer, so it's not really like a full animated trailer. It's kind of like um, the creators talking over a couple of screenshots, explaining a few things. And I'll leave a link to it down in the description because I've not got a chance to see it. I don't think I can show all of it, like full movie of it here. It'll probably get hit for copyright strikes, but I'll show a couple of screenshots here and there. But anyway, like I said, they have the creator on there, Craig Bartlett. He's going over some of the stuff like they've done changes to the character models of Arnold and to Gerald and Helga and Phoebe. He kind of explains the little subtle differences that they've made because they went ahead and said that this is two years after the end 
of the series. So the two years have elapsed. So they're ending it's the, the summer, but after of them finishing up fifth grade and they're going into sixth grade. So they're just a little bit older, a little bit older, even though it's been so long in the real world. We got you know, 20 years older. It's been like 15 years since they made this. Uh, they're only two years older. So that's what they explain. They also explain it's going to be a two hour long TV movie. Two hours. So with commercials, we're probably looking at probably more around in an hour and a half, hour 25, because those commercial breaks will take up so much. But an hour and a half of new content is it's an awful lot. But anyway, he also talks quite a bit about the origin of the movie and why the gang is heading to the jungle. You know, they're looking for his parents, obviously. And they kind of give a little bit of the backstory about that. So it's pretty exciting to hear from Craig Bartlett himself on some of the biggest questions I've had about this show since I was like five years old. Like, where are his parents? What happened to them? Why are his... his Grandpa's so secretive about this. Ah, just tell me. Anyway, um, the trailer ended with what looked to be a mock-up animation screen and, and Arnold, Helga, and Gerald are walking through the forest. And Arnold was holding some kind of glowing green something or other. Didn't really explain what it was. Uh, it looks like he was using it to navigate and coordinate with the map. So it looks something uh, like with that going on there. They were just teasing it. Like the creator was like, you'll have to watch the show to find out what that is. Um, which is cool. Uh, I like things like that, little teasers like that keep you interested, and uh, as always, it's amazing to get this level of information from creators or Nickelodeon, and I am so, so pumped for the upcoming movie, which I said again, it's going to be two hours long, coming around uh, Thanksgiving this year, hopefully it'll be as good, and hopefully it'll be worth the wait, also, hopefully we get more information on Rocko's Modern Life movie and the Invader Zoom movie that are supposed to be coming out as, as well this year 2017 so hopefully Nickelodeon gets the ball rolling on these things and keeps going and, and getting all these things out on top of having some quality content out there but uh, that's all I have for you guys today guys thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you all enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to hit that like button down below share this video with all your cartoon loving friends also check out some previous videos done some news videos lately on some Rick and Morty stuff which also comes out in just 20 days so Lots of cool things to come in. If you guys are fans of cartoons, adult cartoons, anime, video games, all kind of stuff, if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with everything in those worlds because I am on top of it. I am all about that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys are too. But until next time, guys, remember that's always came back time somewhere. Until then, take it easy and peace.